hopefully you've already taken a look at our review of Castles of Mad King Ludwig. Very fun game. The thing that we don't like about it is all of the dead space in the box. There's a lot of baggies of materials all sliding and throwing around. What they need is a nice, better home. Enter Daedalus Productions, who has a cool, fancy insert for Castles of Mad King Ludwig. And we're going to go ahead and put it together and show it to you. So as I open the uh, Daedalus Productions insert baggie here, one of the first things I actually noticed is how nice it smells. It's pretty sweet. Now, the first thing you'll want to do is get the instructions that they have online. I've printed the pages out for to a sheet to save on paper. You can see how the letters here indicate the different elements that we'll be putting together, and it's very well organized. So here's a closer view of the instructions. As you can see, this is what they're all going to look like when they're all laid out. It shows you the pieces. So we're going to start uh, in order and just go through those. We have all of our three pieces for A. It'll even indicate where, they're, where they say the letter on them. As you can see down here, we're going to have an A, A, and an A. So we're going to punch those out. Then we'll move on to the next steps that show exactly how to lay it out over here. And then there's going to be steps that show in these orange spots exactly where to glue it as you put them together. So we'll go ahead and give it a shot. For the most part, the pieces have come apart very easily. There were only a couple of times where I had to use a knife to help separate a piece or two. And that was mostly on the smaller pieces. And only a few of them have needed sanding on the edges. One of the other things I really like about this is how thick the wood is. It's very nice and solid. Once I separated the pieces out, I laid them out like the diagram showed in the instructions and I tested putting a few of the pieces together to see how they fit as well as to make sure I understood the order in which they go. And then I went ahead and started gluing them together. I really like how the instructions indicate where to glue. That makes it very simple. And I also use a Q-tip to wipe away any of the excess glue as I go. So now I'm coming to the end of finishing up the first piece I've put together. What's really cool about the Daedalus Productions insert is that they're not just functional. They actually become a true part of the game. You can see that the style of the insert itself completely fits the theme of the game, looking like a castle. So here are all the finished pieces. You can see how cool looking they are. I still just love this dark wood, but most of all, I like the design that makes them look like castles. Here's how it all goes together. On top are the rules and the game boards, and underneath are all the cool insert pieces. First we have the King's Favors. Here's an insert for the expansion secrets, which we don't have yet. Here's the cool insert for the stairs and hallways. Perhaps the best are the inserts for all of the room tiles. Each has their perfect fitting spot with openings that make it easy to pull a tile out when needed during the game. And another insert for the miscellaneous pieces. And finally, we have a nice container for the money tokens. Now to set up a game, all we have to do is take the boards and inserts out of the box and we're ready to play. We can leave the tiles and the cards in the inserts themselves and just use that as we play the game. So I would say thanks Daedalus Productions for a fantastic game insert for a great game. Thumbs up!